Welcome back to Factorio. In this case, C Block. We haven't played a C Block pack in some time. 0.17 is around and available, and so is C Block for 0.17. So I decided to start it. If you haven't played C Block before, and even if you haven't played Factorio before, don't worry. Uh, I'll lead you through it as, as I actually go. And um, well, it's very, very different from normal Factorio. Let's put it that way. So if you if you're used to normal Factorio, vanilla, no mods or anything else, it's going to be nothing like that. Um, apart from the graphics, of course. Can't change that. Inspired by the series, by the Satisfactory series I've got going, and Satisfactory has, or, or in, in this second series that I've been doing, I've been doing lots of neat little block areas in buildings, and I like that kind of approach. It's made me much happier to have everything neatly laid out. So I thought, well, can we take the same principles and apply them to, uh, to Factorio C Block, which has angels and bobs? Um, probably not, but I'm going to try. You know, there's no point trying. Uh, no, no, wait a second. No, that's not right. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's every point trying. Okay, so, so press, press, pray, press new game, and press play. There's no point looking at any maps because it's always the same. Or well, You can have slightly different islands around you, but everything else is the same. So here we are with C block. You can see um, there is uh, not much around, uh, not much around at all. And we're on a tiny little island with a rock and a burner ore crusher, a stone furnace, and an iron plate. That's not going to get us very far. Not very far at all. So let's just pick up this rock, and you'll find just like the starting uh, starting chests in Skyblock packs in, in Minecraft, we end up with a bunch of stuff uh, coming out of that rock. That's our home rock. That's all you get to get started. So it's stuff that we're going to need to make. First of all, let's make sure we have a little bit more land. You get given a thousand land to get started with, and that's definitely not cheating. It's just uh, so that you. Uh, basically uh, are going to need it. You're going to need a lot of land. So we're going to just going to basically outline a square. And I think I'm going to extend this a little bit uh, into a rectangle going this way. Okay, so that's already took us down to 612. And let me just decrease that size. I want I want that filled in. Sorry, but it has to be it has to be nice like that. Okay, so we've got this, this neat little area. I'm down 400 land of, of my thousand, so I better better make sure that um, this is gonna this is gonna work. So at the top, all I'm gonna do to get started with is put down some wind uh, wind turbines. You get given them. Yes, they fit in your backpack. There's a lot of them, uh, and I'm just gonna start them across the the top like that. And then I'm just gonna uh, basically use middle click to assign various things onto my um, onto my hotbar at the bottom of the screen. So I'm just going to try and make sure I connect these as efficiently as I can. And it's usually at this point that someone mentions that I've not really been efficient at all, but yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, these later will have, we'll be able to pack them in quite densely, but for now I just need a single line of them to give us a little bit of power uh, to get started. And um, <laughs> satisfaction, zero watts. Production zero watts. Well, we don't have anything creating a load yet. Let's look at what we can actually build. You can go and scavenge stuff. Uh, and we're going to need to. We're going to go and scavenge cellulose fiber like this. And you see at the bottom left, I'm handcrafting it. Basically, I dig it up from this ground that I've magically just dropped down from my inventory. Don't question the, the logic. C, log C block logic is like sky block logic where you can make everything from nothing. Anyway, <laughs> C block it is. And we start getting stuff that can be burned or turned into wood pellets um, by processing the previous tier of stuff. We won't get there yet. I'm just going to make a little bit more of this. In fact, no, I'm just going to cancel that for a second. There's a few more things we can make. I'm going to make um, a crystallizer, one. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make an electrolyzer. Again, one, one liquefier, two of these flare stacks. And then another couple of burner ore crushers, and that will get us started uh, for the early game. We don't, if you have a look through these tabs, you may notice, we don't have any inserters. Yep, no inserters. You do have some pipe, so we can assign the pipe. That, that's that's good. Uh, pipe. And uh, it's stone pipe, so we'll put it here. You'll see we have stone pipe. We have, a, we have some stone pipe to ground as well. Can I just actually drag them there? Yeah, I can. Uh, we have some stone pipe to grounds as well, so that's a little bit nicer. But other than that, we just have some pipe and not much else. So we're going to have to hand move stuff around, which gets us started. So we need another one other thing, which is offshore pump, and that will get us started. So the way the C block works is 
Like X Night Hello in Minecraft, you get started with nothing and you have to generate that those resources yourself. And to generate those, you're going to need to use water. Water is the, the basis of everything in here. So we're going to need to get that water pulled in and we need to get that water producing other stuff. OK, so if I remember rightly, uh, we're going to need a crystal, uh, an electrolyzer. So let's just put the electrolyzer down. It doesn't matter where I put it for now. And you'll see I can process water and turn it into slag, oxygen and hydrogen. OK, and in fact, I think what I want to do is maybe... No, that'll do right there. I'll do right there. So, yeah, we can choose this recipe. And then I'm going to take the flare stacks and I'm going to connect them to the outputs, both of the outputs like that. OK, and I'm going to do it so that um, this whole thing... Uh, let me just put one here. Yeah, that should be connected. Um, I want to do that so that the gas outputs, the hydrogen and the oxygen, just get dumped. We don't need them yet, but we want something to get started. And from here, I'm just going to feed in. Oh, I should, ah, that's probably a bit of a waste, but hey, that's fine. It can get started producing slag. All it needs is electricity to do so, and we're going to want a lot of it. Now, other than that, let me just actually extend this land down a little bit more. Um... Uh, I don't want it good to go too far down. So let, let me just put it down like here and I'll just drag. Sorry for the noise. There we go. Other than that, we are going to need the water for something else. So you're also going to want to need, need that still around. We're then going to look at um, basically the burnt ore crusher. We're going to need one of those. And I'll just put it down anywhere for now. And we're going to need a crystallizer somewhere. Um, let's just think about it around here for now. And let's just think of a liquefier. OK, so from here, we can take this and say we want to basically process the ingredients of slag, which is going to come from this up here into crushed stone. The crushed stone is going to go into liquefier. The liquefier can produce mineralized water. So crushed stone and water, that's the key. We need the water from over here is going to combine together to produce mineralized water. And then in our crystallizer, we can get that mineralized water to be produced or turned into sapphirite ore and stereotite ore. So the very top right of the screen says crush stereotite. That's its actual objective. We need to go and think about doing that. So we have everything that we actually need uh, aside from probably correct placement here. So, yeah, let, let me just get those realigned up. I think uh, we're probably going to want a bank of these at some point. So let me just grab the liquefier for now. And uh, let me just uh, maybe connect it up sort of around about here. Yeah, that seems reasonable. And then we'll just move this across and we'll have a probably, well, we'll probably have, we will have more than one of those. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, if you haven't played Angels and Bobs, yeah, uh, it is uh, a little bit intense um, in terms of just the, the complexity, if you like. So that's fine. And why don't we just connect that up to um, here for now and so I can walk around if I need to. So the water is going to be fed in. That's automatic. This is going to be set up. That's automatic as well. And then oh, now all I really need to do is sort of hand cart stuff in. For now, uh, I'm going to be taking this slag and I'm going to be going setting up a few uh, of these ore crushers. Now, we can't we have no inserters, so we can't get one of these to feed into the other. Excuse me. <clears throat> so I'm going to need to just manually put these things in here and then I'm going to put in some cellulose fiber and this thing is going to start producing crushed stone quite happily. Over here. And we're going to use the other two burner ore crushers like that. And they are going to produce uh, sapphirite and stereotype, respectively. When we do all of this, however, we're also going to get crushed stone as one of the outputs. That means we can take the crushed stone and feed it back in over here and uh, get that to produce more mineralized water. So what we should end up with uh, as the output of all this, even though it's manual to start, is just crushed stereotype ore and crushed um, sapphirite ore whichever way around I assign those. However, uh, this is where you want to get yourself uh, automatically in the background. Anytime you've got some free time, just line up some foraging for cellulose fiber. We won't need to forage for long, but you do actually need it to get started. And here we are, all that processing. I say all that processing, those, those three buildings will get us the uh, the stuff we want with the sapphirite. Uh, we get 55% chance of two of them. And we get 70% chance of getting some stereotypes all. So it's not, it's not, it's definitely probability based. It's not going to be all the time you're going to get the same products out. So over here, we'll just feed that in. Uh, we'll put in that there. And we'll put in this here. 
And there we end up with crushed steratite. You can see that's finished at the top right, the research project. Oh, it's not much research, it's more me doing all the work. But still crushed steratite is finished. Press T and that's fine. So the next one is, I guess, well, it says basic circuit board is, is the next one up. But uh, do we get anything for this? Uh, I hope so. Um, effects. Uh, algae farm will become very, very, very useful. Water purification, iron chest, and alginic acid. Okay. Um, is there anything else that I can actually do just yet? No. Fine, 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 fine. Let's go up to the top. Um, where are my inserters? Where are my inserters? When do I get them? Uh, there I get them. After we're doing basic circuit boards. Okay, so now that's our current project. Uh, in fact, that's our current project to actually research. So we need to make a basic circuit board. Even though I have some basic circuit boards, look, can I, can I just drop them and then pick them back up again? That'd be so nice if I could do that. <laughs> anyway, we need to get started. So we need to move on a little bit. We see we have more stuff available now. Uh, we have uh, algae farms. That's why I'm going to make one because they are going to be useful. Uh, we got a few chests. Good. <laughs> Still no inserters. Uh, anything else that's popped in uh, around about here? Stone, we can make stone from crushed stone. That may actually be needed, but for now, uh, I'm not going to worry about it. We're also going to get a clarifier. That's the liquid equivalent of uh, the flare stacks. It just voids everything. So if you want to get rid of water, that or liquid, that's your actual, uh, that's the point. Hydro plant, uh, let's make one of those as well. And that's pretty much everything. So we've got a bit of a tour going on of what we can actually make. Here is our algae plant. It's huge. That's one of the sort of downsides of these early buildings. But from this, from saline water, we can make brown algae. Brown algae will become useful, but to get started, we're also going to have another machine, a hydro plant. <laughs> They're all huge. Oh dear. And uh, we can take water of any kind and we can produce saline water and purified water. So because we don't need purified water, we're going to have to get rid of it somewhere, which is why we have the clarifier. So we have three pieces there in order to get us to some brown algae. OK, so I'm going to have to put or oh, sacrifice more land, if you like, to get that going. So I'm going to sacrifice more land down here. Ooh, that's 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 not going to be that's 273 land left. Hmm. Not sure how much further I can push this, but hydro plant it is. So let's just put that down here. OK, I'm going to select that recipe. And let's just see. I want to press the alt button so I can see the outputs all the time. Uh, which one is which? Um, the darker one is going to be the purified, which is at the bottom, which I don't need. So the clarifier is going at the bottom to get started. And I need to move out of the way. And I'll just connect the two up. We're going to need power. Uh, and that's all fine. OK, and then they're just going to need connection for for water. There we go. So we should now be producing saline water. Yep, there it is. The rest is being dumped and we don't need to worry about it, which means we can now take that onto the algae farm and we can basically feed it in this side. I'm keeping everything as compact as I can for the moment, but uh, you get the idea. It's going to quickly need to be moved out and um, sorted from that point of view. So off we go. Um, why don't I just feed you this way? So let you use brown algae. And that whole chain should start producing. You'll see what we do with that shortly. But uh, that's going to get that started on this side. But remember, on this side, I still need to just grab this stuff manually feed it in here and then again keep this fed with cellulose fiber until we actually produce enough of an excess. Our first batch of algae has been created. Yes, 40 brown algae, as mushy as that sounds. We can take that out, but now we're going to need to manually craft that. So we need to take it and turn it into a few things. Our main sort of objective is this wooden board. It needs two paper. The paper needs cellulose pulp, and the pulp just needs alginic acid and or alginic acid and cellulose fiber. The cellulose fiber we can just get inf infinitely, although handcrafted, and uh, the alginic acid we can make from brown algae. So if I make one of these, you'll see if it's handcrafting down at the bottom left, I'm just going to get rid of the uh, the this handcrafting cellulose fiber, and we'll go ahead and make one of these. 
I uh, actually need two of them, so I'm going to need more brown algae, but that's that's not a problem. There we go, and uh, we'll make one more. We'll convert that into paper, and from the paper we will head across into a wooden board, because a basic circuit board just needs those things. It needs me to get, um, here we are, basic circuit board, wooden boards, and copper cable. Now we don't have copper cable, but copper cable should not be hard either. Uh, it is just going to be copper plate, and guess what we've just been producing? Yeah, I'm going to need to get used to these categories. Uh, there we go. Copper cable it needs copper plate. So up here, we've been basically getting these ores, put them in the furnace, and we get copper plate and iron plate from the other ore. So that's how we get iron and copper. And from those, we can make a couple of copper cables, which should lead us towards uh, that nice uh, basic circuit board. So we can click on one of those. And do we need one? Is it only going to actually need us to get one? Yeah, it looks like we need one. So as soon as this finishes, which won't take very long, we should get this research complete. And I should get my inserters, hopefully. <laughs> there we go. That's complete. And then our next thing is wood processing. So this leads us on into wood, inverted quote marks, in that you can generate stuff that will burn. Uh, again, still from water, so everything else is created. So wood processing is the next thing to actually do. Uh, we actually need um, one green algae. So we need to get that from a farm. Can we actually do that now? Or we can, and that just needs water. So I think I'm going to leave it on the. I'm going to leave it on the brown, and then maybe we can make another algae farm. Um, algae. Let's just use the search. Algae farm. Yeah, let me just make one. You can see I can only make loads of them, but um, yeah, I'm not being too too over the top just yet because uh, I'm down to only a little bit of of land left. Uh, yes, I'm going to need to need to extend this quite a bit more, uh, but for now it will do. There we go. Ninety one left. Can I actually make more land at this point? Sand, sand. Uh, just need crushed stone. So yes, I can make more. Just wouldn't be, well, terribly good use of the crushed stone when we can use it for other purposes right now. Uh, in you go. And do I have more available? Yep. Let's dump that all the way through. And this can keep on going. Okay. So, is my algae farm finished? It is. And again, we will just line up here. that okay you are going to need to do brown algae please and i'm just going to connect you up with everything else and that's going to produce uh, sorry green algae i should say not brown algae that's going to produce what we need good so that's that research off and going and now uh, i should have inserters i do have inserters i have burner inserters and i have electric inserters electric inserters far more useful uh obviously by far Need some iron for that. Well, I need some iron gear wheels so I can. Uh, well, I can produce 159 of these things. But uh, yeah, I'm so happy. Uh, now, do we have the right angle inserters in this mod pack? I am almost certain that we do, but I don't think we get them by default. Uh, although that is adjustable inserters mod. Hmm. Can we actually do that? Or is it just going to need to be? Oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah, we can. So we can we can control where they pick up from and where they place down. You can see right now it will do a right angle and push that stuff into this. So if I just connect you up uh, and you should be able to insert into here, although you aren't. Why aren't you doing anything? That should be working. Unless this only takes them in tens. No. Hmm. Are your output blocked? You are. I'm going to put the bottleneck mod in. I think because you can see the actual lights to tell what's actually blocked and these kind of things. So this is going to work. That's going to be fine. And then we can just do use it in a far more traditional manner to just feed from one into the other. Or at least I could if I put these close enough together, which I didn't, of course. Uh, so yeah, we will need to rearrange in a little while. Okay, here comes our green algae. We can take that, and that's the next research project done. We are all going to get uh, electromagnetism labs. Oh, 
Uh, remember science labs in this uh, in this pack blue science is is a fun one anyway we can make cellulose fiber now using green algae so that's the important one we don't need to in well we don't need to handcraft that anymore if we can do or get a machine that will actually make that for us uh or we can just make it straight away from the green algae uh, electric poles wood bricks lab construction cores and lab mechanization so yes lots of stuff there uh what's the next thing oh it's red science red science gets us a whole bunch of stuff yep steam engines guns um armor yeah this game does have biters uh biters are not off and they are on other islands are not near the middle but as you actually expand that with your land you're going to need those as well so yeah we need a sacrificial electromagnet which is its term for red science packs so we are going to need to make one of those anyway that does unlock a bunch of other stuff i did just rearrange things up, up here a little bit just to make sure everything was automatic so now we just got a couple of inserters again this is not going to be final it's just really really early game i just want it to produce me occasionally some iron and copper would be nice uh, I haven't got rid of the side product here. I'm getting rid of it manually, which is just the crushed stone. And I can put that back in here. I don't really have any filter inserters or anything like that. So what you're going to do if you want this to be automatic is you're going to want to set a couple of liquefiers up here alongside these. And then these things can only insert into there because these will only accept the crushed stone. But for now, I don't have I don't have a human amount of land. So I'm going to have to just cope with it at least to get started. So we're able to make uh, a lab, I guess. We'll just get, make one in the background in uh, handcrafting while we take a look at the other items we've been given. Uh, is there anything else I, I'm going to want to handcraft at all? None of you. None of you. Nope. Uh, you can see I can convert the cellulose fiber straight away into green algae. Can I actually make a, uh, an assembly machine yet? Because if I could, I can get that beam done automatically. Uh, let's have a look. You're an electric generator uh electric mining drill uh, i don't have anything to mine unless i'm mining the sand hmm anyway uh moving on no i don't have assembly machines yet it would be in this production tab if it, i did repair packs boilers steam engines etc etc yeah so uh i finished this artificial electromagnet apparently okay that opens up a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I want basic automation. I want the ability to make assembly machines. Steam or burner would both be fine. So for that, I need five of these. And can we make any of these yet? Nope. We need electromagnetic cores and electromagnetic coils. Coils, I just gonna need copper plate. So I am just going to need to have this produced for me. We can only do these once we get to four, by the way. So if it looks like it's stuck, it's not. It's just that we don't have enough just yet. I have lots and lots of iron plate, just no copper plate. And this is all basically down to this whole chain uh, of waiting for stuff, uh, at least in the start of the game. I don't think there's any way to speed this up unless I produce more electrolyzers. So that's normally your, your scaling up at the start of the game. So I've now produced four out of the five red science packs by handcrafting, and that's just waiting for the next red science pack to be able to make basic automation. Um, red science, all the research now is back onto sort of red science, or the usual kind of science labs you need to use to do research. So no need to actually make any more manual items for just for research anyway. But you can see I've just been putting uh, these wind turbines everywhere just to keep up with the demand load on the electricity grid. And you'll see I'm able to do so a little bit now. Uh, this literally has only just increased above the, the, the load uh, just because I've started putting them down here. I don't have really the space to organize them yet, but we will do soon. In the meantime, I should be able to just grab some stuff from here and I should be able to craft a few more, uh, or at least one more, that's all I need. Uh, sacrificial electromagnet or red science packs. I'm not going to call them sacrificial electromagnets for too much longer. Uh, and that should be it, pretty much. We should be able to then get automation going, which then lets us uh, get the assembly machines, which in turn means I can get rid of a few things. So there we go. That's that done. Uh, automation itself, uh, I guess that will get me assembly machine ones. Okay, and what's the difference between what I have now? This, these are just going to be really slow. Uh, where are you? going to be in here. Uh, so burner assembly machine or steam-powered assembling machine. 
Okay, so uh, I will take the burner, but I will start the new research for the regular assembler. Still takes red science packs, which I'm going to be out of, but um, I'll get three going. But other than that, I'm just going to put down a uh, burner assembling machine. Uh, because we're going to want to convert green algae, I think, across into something that's a lot better for burning. At least for the early game. So you can see here we can convert green algae straight into cellulose fibre this way. And from cellulose fibre, we can uh, convert that over into pellets and from pellets into bricks if we want them. But at least having a stock of cellulose fibre rather than having to handcraft them will get me started with all of that. And of course, this thing takes burnable stuff to actually to uh, to run. So we sort of have a situation there where we can um, maybe feed everything back into itself. So yeah, why don't I just put something down like that and we'll choose um, cellulose fiber. Off it goes. And uh, that, uh, that electric power pole is just there for the inserter. We obviously can't do it from this. So I'm just going to feed it with some cellulose fibre to get started. At this point we can put that anywhere else uh, and we can just put it onto a belt in which of course I also probably want to feed it back onto itself to get started so to make sure it keeps on making more and then um, yeah so what I think what we can do there is if I just feed them on to this belt and then I just put them into a box at the end of it that'll keep me going and then I just need a couple of inserters. There we go. Okay, and we'll insert that way. We'll extract it this way. Feed them on. There we go. And then I need to put the box down. And there we go. So if it needs any to feed into this, if I just remove this, it should start feeding back in. Good. And any excess that it doesn't use burning up, well, we'll have that in a box that we can just go and pick up. So a couple of uh, mods actually uh, come to mind in addition to the ones in the mod pack. Long reach to be able to hit this from anywhere just so that I don't have to keep running backwards and forwards all the time while I'm on camera. And the one is, as I mentioned before, bottleneck to be able to see where things are backed up. That will become very, very, very useful with angels and bobs. So that is pretty much a good point to leave the first episode, I think. We've got a number of things done. Uh, we're into sort of uh, what you might think is a more vanilla area where you've got actual assembly machines, but we need to do some more research and this sort of chains up here where you have electrolyzers going through crystallizers is a very, very common thing. We will need a sort of standard area that just is encapsulating these Perhaps not perfectly balanced, but you want to have this crystallizer or however many crystallizers you want running at full speed. So you need to build all the infrastructure backwards to actually maintain full speed on this, wherever you can, of course, as long as you've got power. But we'll leave that to the next episode, and hopefully for now you've got an idea of the start of a C block game. If you're interested, Nod.17 on Steam uh, for Factorio, and the link down below will give you a link to download the mod pack. It's definitely not mine, it's uh, some, some other guy that I can never remember the name of, but uh, feel free to have a go, let me know what you think. Otherwise, as always, guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you're more than welcome to. And of course, even more welcome to hit that like button and press on the bell if you want notifications for future episodes. Otherwise, as always, put your comments down in the comment section below with tips and tricks for other people who are playing through. Otherwise, we'll see you next time for some more Factorio C Block. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.